All right, hey everybody, this is Trav from Trav and Tyler Gaming. Welcome back. We're playing a game called Don't Open Your Eyes. It's a text-based game. I haven't watched any footage on it, so we're just gonna play. Um, hope you enjoy it, and let's get it started. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. What was that? I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd know, since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room, there is a bed. In my room, there is a wardrobe. In my room, there is pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Or someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Something's coming. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Oh! Oh! What? I 
I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Is that how it is? I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. So you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget like a faded dream. There's no way I'm open my eyes. I know you're not asleep. <gasps> you listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. No. I feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them. And tear them off. Hey, hey, hey. If I do, will you scream? Will I hear your voice? It was a joke. Uh. I'm joking. Don't be scared. They won't. What will you find? Answer me. They look broken. They look empty. They look lost. They look lost. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. It terrifies me so much. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Even if there's nothing to see, that way, nothing will slip away, no matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. Cool. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. World? I will forever be What is that something that I'm searching for? Great question. It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? Is it nearby? No. Is it you? No. Hey. Stop. Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have you? I remain silent. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Yes. A good answer. Oh. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. No. Open. So you no. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Thank you. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Stop saying flesh. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. So, so pretty. <sighs> A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Still and silent. People are good at close.
closing their doors. Do you know what a door is? Yes. Of course you know. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes me. Mm -hmm. I can't open doors. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its hinges? No. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? And what happens when it opens? Do I close it behind me? Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? You think a lot about doors. So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. It fills me with the need to go in. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my internal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen, so I search hard for a door that's open, for an entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me, but you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. No. Why is that? Are you afraid? Do I? Scare you? No. That can't be it. Yes, that is it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. <coughs> so I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. No. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm, because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look? Hmm, nice try. When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. They look tired, deceitful, incomplete. Hmm. I don't think deceitful. Maybe tired, because he's always searching and he's lost and traveling. They look tired. Ooh, and them long that may be so. fingers and fingernails. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. Creepy. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for. Something. The tip of my finger stands over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. Mm. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish, caressing, mm. grabbing, clawing, no matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep. Freaky. As if. They had a mind of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Stay like.
like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is irresistible. Hmm. They want more. No. No means no. They want to mm -hmm. feel closer. No, sir. To have it between them and around them. More and more and more. Sometimes. However, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I lend a hand. Mm. I take over and stretch. 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 And they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow. Just so they can reach out. Clutch what they want. Discarded. And forgotten. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking. And most likely, never will. Hey. <sighs> every time. Hey. Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Have you? I remain silent. These hands are these my hands? Yes. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. No. Every time he says that, I get goosebumps. So you won't look at me? No. Even though my hands could be the same as yours? No, they couldn't. Think about it. No. Maybe you and I are similar. Impossible. No. I know we are. Delusional? I can feel it in my skin. Oh. Can you hear it? Yes. My skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land, and ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. No. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Both? What, a, what do I need? <sighs> Just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Describe it. I am not good with words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. <laughs> and thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen, and I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me... But I will. Soon, once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Ugh. And you inspect every crack. 
Ew. This is one. No. <laughs> Do you finally, finally, finally oh. open those tight lips of yours? Calm down to let now. Me hear what I am, and to maybe even give me a name. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. My expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful, cheerful smile, surprised grimace, an emotionless stare. Hmm. a smile because I finally looked but emotionless uh, be surprised uh, emotionless and emotionless stare that may be so Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die, born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting, and yet, so many things happen to them, so many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack, were I to write a book. I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather, because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number. They are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. But that doesn't mean I have never felt, I feel things, joy, sorrow, fear. I am always feeling, and right now, it's here, in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is motionless, that it shows nothing, and if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. No, I won't. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Have you? I remain silent. This expression is this. My expression. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. Okay, goodbye. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. One born out of honest gratitude, but there is one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. No. No. I see. I understand. No. 
answering my questions. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. Does that mean you'll go away? No. Hmm? That is a lie. Uh -oh. Ever since I stepped into this room, mm -hmm. you have refused to engage with me. What are you gonna do? Not even once. Is this a jump scare? Not even once, not even once, not even okay, once, not even once, not even once. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? No. Not even once. Did you look at my face? No. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch, at times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth, but you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can, and I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. What? You are huh? like me. We are the same. No. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too are a liar. What? The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Huh? I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Oh. They aren't mine. Oh. Maybe they are yours. But I do not care. Oh, okay. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I don't have an option. It's just ten, ten, ten. Okay. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now... No. You will open your eyes. No, I will not. And see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? No, I didn't. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Huh? It was those words that brought me here. So you have to... You have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. No, son. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. No. I'm leaning back from the monitor right now. No. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. What, are you just going to open my eyes for me? You won't open your eyes. I will. No, uh, -uh. I'll close my real eyes. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. Did he just kill me? Answer. But they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. Uh.
Is he just like hitting me? Open them now. Open, open, oh open. My gosh. I'm literally looking through the cracks between my fingers right now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Oh. No, I'm definitely dead. Oh no. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. <laughs> Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Well, there you go. The game is called Don't Open Your Eyes, so I didn't open my eyes. But did he just take them out of my head? I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe I'll run through it again in the future and open my eyes and see what happens if I do that and try that at some different points, see if. Is there a different ending or not? I have no idea. But hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to stay in the loop. And have a great day. This is Trav from Trav and Tyler Gaming. Until next time.